I don't get it though. Why was YouTube banned? Um, anytime you play certain YouTube videos, it'll just get like shut down for like five minutes. That seems like a relatively reasonable and normal way for a company to operate. Why? Well, I mean, as opposed to Twitch, that will just like perma ban you if they get. I mean, exactly. I'll, 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 oh. <laughs> No, I was being completely serious. Like, YouTube seems to have one of the best uh, solutions to all of this that mm -hmm. doesn't f*** your life up. I don't see why Twitch can't reach out to people, be specific, and handle things that way instead of just suspending accounts left and right. Uh, they're incompetent. They could. There's no reason why they couldn't. They just don't have the teams for it or don't have... Well, okay. A lot of people don't understand this. So let's talk about, like... I'm gonna give a very rough macro level of how companies work. Okay. 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 Let's say that you're like a really big company. And let's say that you have um, $1 million to spend. Okay. We have all this money. Okay. Oh, actually, let's say that we have a $1 million to spend as a company. Okay. 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 There are certain things that we could spend our money on. Let's say we have a budget for like micro transactions. Okay. So like this could be like making skins or some shit, whatever. Let's say that we have like um, new features, okay? Um, so this might be like new add-ons to the game. It might be new levels. It might be new weapon systems or something like that, okay? And then let's say that we have stuff like um, like bug fixing. Bug fixing might be like, you know, fixing like basic bugs. It causes a screen to freeze or something dumb like that. And then let's say at the bottom we have um, something like, I'll do like um, tier, like, like tier one talent. Like, um, what would this be with, for, in terms of like, like outreach to streamers? We'll say helping you know, and users. What? Do you know how many people um, those um, stream managers have under them? The how many like? Yeah, how many partners they they each manage? Because I I don't have one. Hundreds so. of thousands. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty pretty bad. Let's say that for every dollar that we spend on does this work. So if I would have ten, would this give me fifteen? Wait, hold on, give me one second, hold on. Miss Jones taught me English, but I think I just shot her son. I, I just played guitar until you came back. But I think, I assume you're going with this, where you're going with the spreadsheet is that they didn't invest a lot into this early on. Nope. They were, no? It's okay. actually so simple. But it explains a lot why people don't understand the decisions that businesses make. So we have all of these things that we can invest like our money into. So let's say that I can dump dollars into microtransactions, okay? So let's say I put a hundred, we'll, we'll say a hundred thousand dollars goes into dev hours for microtransactions, right? Um, I can invest a hundred thousand dollars into microtransactions. I can invest a hundred thousand dollars into new features. Um, I could invest a uh, hundred thousand dollars into bug fixing, or I can invest a hundred thousand dollars into community management, right? Microtransactions are like a very low cost thing. Okay. You put dollars into them and for just a little bit more work, we can get a ton of money, right? Our, uh, like the marginal, the next dollar we invest gets us more, it's like really, really, really high. The investment is really good. So for instance, let's say that for a microtransaction, mm. we just make a new skin for League of Legends or something, right? Or we make a new, um, we just add on very quickly to something. We can make a lot of money, right? So I might invest yep. $100,000 into this. I'll make 150,000 more. I get 50,000 in profit, right? That's awesome, cool, great, awesome, amazing. Um, now let's say I can invest in new features. Now, new features can make like a decent amount of money, but those require a much bigger investment, right? So maybe for a hundred thousand dollars, maybe our multiplier on that is just like 1.25. Now we can do new features. Okay. But it takes a lot of hours to do it. It takes a lot of QA bug testing. Like you have to make whole new systems. Like that's a lot of work, right? We can also fix bugs. Now fixing a bug isn't really going to make us like much money at all unless like the bug is like super fucking important like it's preventing people from like accessing parts of our system or you know making sales or something or like actually turning users away like bugs or shoddy shit or whatever don't make so much money um, and then we have like community management now community management might actually like not make us money at all like we can invest some time into community management but it's not like we get paid to do it now maybe some of those people will like be more likely to buy a microtransaction or pay for a new feature or something maybe in the future, that's possible. Um, 
But like for the most part, a lot of community management is like a loss leader thing. Like you're paying people to like respond to people on forums, respond to ban requests, like stuff like that. Like you're not actually making money. Um, you're not really making money. Right. But you money, invest in so. cust things like customer service, because if you don't, then your you word of mouth is going to fuck you. It could theoretically. Yeah. But the problem is that now it feels like if I have a board of directors, okay, if my company needs to be as profitable as possible, and we come to our like end of year spending summaries, right? We've got these like, so just for this company, we have four buckets here that we can invest into, okay? Um, if I have a million dollars to spend, like where am I gonna put most of my money to make the most amount of money, right? Well, it seems like putting work into things like microtransactions and shit, it's probably pretty important. Like this is where a lot of our money is going, probably, right? Because like we make a lot of money there, right? Um, we could design new features as well. Um, to do new features requires probably a pretty hefty minimum investment. Um, we'll say 250,000 for this company. We might even need more for that. Um, we could spend a little bit like fixing bugs to make sure that stuff like stays clean and shit. Sure. We're probably not going to do that much in community management because this is actually costing us money to do, right? There's not really mm -hmm. much money to be made. So if we look at Twitch as a product, there's not really much money to be made in terms of like reaching out to streamers and making sure they don't get banned because not that many streamers get banned, right? Um, mm -hmm. So the problem is that if you're an investor, okay, um, let's say that you've got two companies that you're looking at, all right? Um, we're going to say that our budget is still a million dollars. We've got two companies that we look at, okay? Let's say that the first company invests a lot of money in microtransactions, decent amount of money in new features. They spend a little bit in bug fixing, and then they spend very little on community management, okay? And then let's say that this company is profiting 320 grand a year, right? Yep. Yep. That's cool, right? So on a million dollar investment, they're making $317,000 in profit, in pure profit, 30% on, on return of capital, okay? That's awesome. Great investment, great return, okay? Now I'm ignoring, there's like obviously a lot more, um, there's a lot more stuff that's going here. Let's say that we take another company, okay? Let's say that this is like, this is a good company, okay? Yeah, they invest a little bit in microtransactions, all right? They throw a hundred grand at it, okay? Let's say a lot of their, their um, budget goes into like new features because they wanna make an awesome game. Um, let's say that they put like a little bit into like bug fixing and everything. Um, and then let's say that they put like a lot in community management, okay? So these guys spend a lot of money um, reaching out to streamers, making sure their community's happy, making sure their community's taken care of. Um, <clears throat> and they do this, right? Let's say that I'm an investor and I have two companies, okay, that I can choose between, okay? Let's say that one of these companies is scoring, you know, 320 grand a year in profit, and the other company is making 150 grand a year in profit. As an investor, which company am I going to invest in? Do I really give a fuck if, if the if if company B, the community company, is like fostering it, is like um, is investing a lot in their community, taking care of their streamers, or am I looking at company A that's just turning a bigger profit? More often than not, you're looking at A. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, Can you argue that B would be better because uh, B is going to be around for a lot longer, you would hope, because they're fostering the community and stuff? Well, why do I care if I'm just an investor? If I'm making money, if it feels like the company is going to tank, I'll just pull my money and go to another company, right? Oh, I guess you could do that. It depends on... Can most people it, just pull their money and like Yeah, fuck right off? now, you could do it right now. So I'm investing in the company, I'm holding stock, I want them to pay dividends, and I want the share price of the company to rise. That's all I care about as an investor, right? Right, but I think like depending on the type of funding, like if you're talking about like Series A, B, right? Like you can't just pull that away, can you? Well, I was saying if you have like percentage in the company, you might. Well, right have now, a right now we're literally just talking about. I'm pretty sure Series A and B investors can sell their shares if they want to. I'm pretty sure. There's probably something in their contract, I would assume. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can. Yeah, but like um, this is. So, yeah, yeah, I get yeah. what you're saying. Yeah. So this is like kind of like the basic structure of when you look at a company. Um, when you look at a company and you're like. Why the fuck won't they just fix the bugs? Why don't they invest in their community more? Why don't they do these things? Well, the reason is because your, your initial budget is always going to be limited by how much capital you can raise. And once you raise that capital, investors don't want you to invest all of that money into low ROI projects. So ROI is your return on investment, right? People are going to want you to maximize your ROI for every bit of capital that goes into your company. Meaning if I'm giving you money 
You better be spending it on shit that's going to make me money. I'm not giving you money to like fucking give blowjobs to your fucking employees or to make sure that your streamers are happy. I'm giving you money to make money. So if I'm giving you money as Twitch, well, what are you spending all of your money on? It's going to be on new features. It's going to be on like your ad team. It's going to be on people that are going to be generating revenue for the company. Amazon is a publicly traded company. They're going to demand that Amazon and all of its subsidiaries are doing things that are profitable. And that's why at the end of the day, most of your investment is going to be in revenue generating projects. The only way that you can get stuff like community management and everything thing working is is one of two ways either one this is where things like unions come in right so a, a union might come in like let's say that the streamers are unionized a union a union might come in and say like hey it's really cool that um you're not making much money off of us but if you don't invest in us you're not going to make money in anything else because we're going on strike so fuck you well now it becomes like okay well <clears throat> let's say i wish i knew how to do conditional formulas right but if I could make like some kind of conditional formula, what I might say is that as long as the community investment is below a certain point, it'll negatively impact like your microtransaction or feature investment because streamers won't be around to push those features. Let's say that 100 streamers go on strike if you're not investing enough in community management. Well, that's going to affect the percentage you returns you get on things like microtransactions or new features because streamers aren't going to be around to push those products anymore. Does that make sense? Did that make sense? Yeah, no, 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 it absolutely makes sense. Okay, um, yeah. So, th so this is why, this is like the broad general kind of explanation for like a company for like, why don't companies invest more in the things that make me happy or the things I like? Well, because they don't care about that. Companies are generally going to invest in the things that make them the most money. That's where their dollars are going to go flow to first. And then um, every single time, um, every Every other thing that they invest in is going to get like minimum levels of investment. Destiny, it's harder for super vested shareholders to pull their money. Those are the same people making. Oh, that is correct. If we were talking about this in a way more complicated thing, that is true. Initial investors are going to have harder times pulling out. Initial investors oftentimes not only want equity in a company, they also want the ability to make decisions about the company. So it's very unlikely that an initial partner is just going to sell everything and leave to go to another company. That is correct. Sure. But we're not talking about that. Like... I, I don't understand. I see this. I, I saw this happening when I was like doing like driving streams with Melina too. It's like, oh, well, when you want to shift here, blah, blah. And like people in chat are like, Destiny, make sure that you know that she understands she has to rev match and blah, blah. And it's like, dude, holy shit. We're not, we're nowhere near that. We're nowhere near talking about that level of shit. This is like, it's putting the <laughs> cart before the horse. Well, I want to wrap this part up before Steven starts eating this guy alive. Um, so with this, I understand this. And this is why in the earlier years, I wasn't as pissed off about Twitch's treatment. But now, um, like with just basic assumptions I can make about the company, the tools they're going to have on the back end, the assets they're going to have, it's now more about cultural shift and leaders actually taking initiative than it's going to be about significant capital investment on the part of Twitch. Well, but they're still looking to make a lot of money on um, on like ads. They, they don't have their ad network or, or all of that set up sure, right now. So sure. that's why you're seeing, so like, what are the products that they're pushing right now? are actually anti-community things. It's like getting the anti-ad block stuff working, right? With everybody's been complaining about. Absolutely, but mm -hmm. there are people that are within the sphere of the the managers of the um, of the partners. There are going to be individuals who are like in the human resources department. There are going to be people that have the bandwidth to contribute small little bits and actually make this happen. Like when I go into companies and we do like a we do a a, a project with them to get to revamp their software development, whatever. Like the money is spent to pay us to come in and do the consultation, but like the the capital that they have is already there. We're just making them more efficient. So all someone needs to do is have a little fucking initiative, a little compassion for their fucking partners that make the platform possible. And and not a lot of resource redirection has to happen. Just vision needs to be laid out. Well, but when you start talking about when you start talking about like securing deals to make it so streamers don't get DMCA'd or stuff like that, like they would have to hire full-time staff to do this. They might have to make another department for this. They'd have to have a whole other chain of things. They're introducing oh, yeah. a different liability. Yeah, no. Like the problem is that none of this really makes the company that much money. And I'm um, sorry, I, I mm -hmm. guess I guess because we caught on the topic of this when I made the comment about the way YouTube handles that kind of stuff versus Twitch. Mm -hmm. I'm at the very least, I want Twitch to be consistent. I want them to be open. I want them to be stopped being so protectionist when it comes to not divulging why they ban people because they don't want to be yeah I under, and i understand all of this we're talking about it's just there's no money for them to be made there why would they do any of that it just makes yeah it's because or, it's harder for more accurately there's no money to be lost for them not doing it yeah it's well, the same, that's the the same thing yeah that's why I, I talk about cultural shift where i think that they they know they're hurting these people like they yeah, but it does but they don't care it's not their job to like make sure that all these people are taken care of their job it's is to not just, 
it, you're right, but there are plenty of companies that make it part of their mission to not just be profitable and go forth and, and change the world from their business perspective, but to also I mean, have some empathy to their customers or the people that make their product viable. Really, but they really only do that insofar as it like makes them money. Like a lot of those mission statements and everything are usually generated to like maximize profit. That's why you get like, um, that's why you get so many companies is like, oh, well, you know, how did we, we we're going to do everything we can to increase diversity. We got like a board to consult about it and blah, 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 blah. Like all the things that kind of like make people True. have the it's impression just... that, but they don't actually do anything about it. Because that would actually require like real reform and change and money. And, yeah. Isn't it like one of Twitch's biggest things to figure out the music shit for like streamers because um they're gonna have to start banning people right if they don't have to ban people they just they, they won't they, lose their stuff no really? they just are lazy and stupid and don't know that's why there have been streamers that have gotten three strikes that have gotten unbanned because they know that legally that's bullshit they're just the oh, thing okay. is is they're like right now twitch is probably like 1000 percent focused on getting their ad delivery shit ready and this dmca yeah. stuff is just an annoying fuck thing on the side so they're just that's throwing like random them, patches yeah. at it because they're too lazy to like sit down and have to invest the money to figure out like the new because like there's some yeah there's just stuff there's just investment that has to happen here from a dev point of view um one they need to build an actual like twitch still i'm willing to bet doesn't have a real back end to manage data related to bans i don't think twitch has that and if any All employee wants manual, to come, yeah. yes i am 99 percent sure that the way that the back the back end for Twitch's bans are a Google Excel spreadsheet where they're writing down shit and some and like partner manager is manually going in to like suspend or unsuspend an account. That's what's happening, Maybe. right? So they don't have like any of the infrastructure in place to keep track of like rolling DMCA ban. That's why it's that's probably why it's so that like three bans is a perma ban is because like it's too hard to do like rolling bans and like rolling drop offs for like when people got banned. Like yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so the the like I assume that's true as well. Yeah. And if that is the case, like I guarantee you, like Twitch has the money to buy a a SharePoint license, a, an enterprise SharePoint license, and then they have the collective knowledge yeah, for someone. Yeah, I understand. To get they in. do, they do, they do. But hold on, are you familiar with the concept of opportunity cost? Yeah. Yes, that's the problem. Let's say that Twitch has a million dollars in their budget to do something, right? And let's say you're like, okay, we're gonna figure out this DMCA problem, right? Well, Amazon is gonna be screaming at you. You're still not fucking selling ads. What the fuck is wrong with you? Why are you wasting money on this DMCA bullshit? Put another bandage on it and fix your fucking ad delivery. That's what they're gonna be screaming at them for. And that's why all of Twitch's stuff has been full steam ahead on like blocking ads, or I'm sorry, blocking like the ad block shit on like figuring out how, like, why do you think that like, even when it comes to partner management, right? Partner Partners are managed horribly on this platform and everything is fucked. What is the one one new thing that's been extended to partners recently it's the new twitch contracts what's the big selling point of the new twitch contracts it's getting people to run a minimum number of ads per hour right that's like the huge thing like that's what the whole company is like focused on right now well, what are the new twitch contracts giving a fuck ton of money that oh god i keep hearing this a lot i'm trying to bring up um this will be the only time today i bring up the sun i see people defend a lot of the streamers with like oh well they signed a contract they have to run that many ads you didn't have to sign that contract so the reason why for instance certain people it doesn't have to be a son but like anybody on the partner anybody on the stream right now i'm sorry anybody on twitch that has to run a minimum number of ads per stream the reason why they did that is because they signed a new contract with twitch it's not your normal partner contract it's your premium partner contract they signed premium partner contracts from twitch to get a higher ad cut to get a huge amount of fucking raw flat cash and then to get um and and the trade-off of that is that they have to run a minimum number of advertisements per advertisements hour. per hour in order to do it nobody is forcing anybody to sign those premium contracts uh, yeah. i keep seeing that like floated around I was like oh well the reason why that they run so many ads they have to it's part of their contract yeah the fat new huge contract that they signed that gave them a huge flat cash bonus okay and higher rev split for their subs and the, for their cpms that's why they're running a minimum ad so yeah um anyway yeah yeah half who signed this in yeah i know several people that signed them most of them i think are probably not, so i'm not gonna say a name because i don't want to fuck anybody but like yeah a lot of people have signed those newer twitch contracts but again those contracts are like really centered on getting streamers to run a minimum number of ads because most big streamers don't run ads but that's why that they're so geared towards those because building their ad shit is important uh twitch i am ready to sign that contract just you know you what's know? the new contract he just said it. I'm sorry, uh, I was dealing with someone. What did you do to my lights? New contract, basically, they got money, now they get higher ad splits, and they have to run a minimum number of ads per hour. Mm. Hell yeah. yeah. No one was forced to sign Thanks. these. Yeah, of course. Yeah, no one is forced to sign these premium product contracts. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. All I'm saying is this. I'm not saying it's going to be perfect, but I'm saying they could do it. Uh, they could completely change, like, the fucking banning and shit. They could do... They could do letters they could be open about what they do and it wouldn't be a huge investment on Isn't their they part just open them up to liability yeah the thing oh, yeah. again you keep saying that like this wouldn't be a big deal and that's true it wouldn't but why would they do it at all 
that's the that's the part where like not just because a company jumps on the board with diversity doesn't mean they're actually not you know empathetic to the cause and invested in it on a personal level so there have to be some people at, at director executive mm -hmm. uh level within twitch that see this that know these streamers that are friends with these fucking people that are being told and i want to know who's saying yeah um fuck them we're never going to tell them exactly why they're banned because we don't want them to hold us accountable for that Isn't like someone is making that decision that? i don't know and I would like a little communication. I want them to fucking come out. Like, Stephen, oh, God, I can't remember what it was. But there was something Why would they the other do day. this, though? Because they're like, do you, I can't fucking fathom oh, relying okay, okay, okay. on Twitch. Yeah, so, like, in terms of, like, so you're thinking about this from, I think, from a small company perspective, in which case I understand what you're saying. Like, well, shouldn't people be reaching out and just, like, you know, having some kind of communication? But, like, the problem is that, like, when you start getting to, like, these huge company points of view like you're probably working through like layers and layers of bureaucracy and shit um and honestly like a lot of like partner manager people like probably don't even know their partners that well um and, and it's just like it's just too much like l too many layers of shit for people to like work through um yeah i mean fuck man if 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 the only change they made was that um your first potential ban every six months like let's say you were about to get banned like once per six months and the first thing they do is send you a letter and it says on this day you committed this offense doing this here's the clip mm -hmm. and and, and I, that understand, was it. I understand what you're saying none of this is going to make them any money though <laughs> so no money is going there but i understand what you're saying <laughs> i just i i think you and i disagree on whether or not they could do it no i regardless. don't disagree they could do it it would be incredibly easy but the reality is that the company doesn't give a fuck about you or any of its fucking partners. Mm -hmm. They just want to make money. That's the thing that people don't realize. Oh, they weren't in agreement. Yes. yes. It, yeah, of course they could do it. There's don't. a million things they could do if they gave a fuck, but they don't. They don't give a fuck about anybody here. <laughs> All they want to do is make money. Of course. Why, right. why the fuck else are the people that own Twitch originally? Why were they sold to Amazon? It's because they want to make a fuck ton of money. Everybody cashed out huge fucking deals there. And then people stopped giving a fuck because the company went from some private passion project that was making money. And well, no, no, it wasn't making money, but that was growing rapidly into like selling like, holy shit, like I can just sell this shit and walk the fuck away. And then you never worry you know. about it again. Yeah, of course. Yep. I think, I th yeah, I think for the most part, we agree. There's one person right now that's fighting on behalf of all streamers. The one person that's fighting the dark horse. Does anybody Pluto? know? Thatcher. <laughs> who knows who it is? I'm saying Pluto. Someone in chat. Oh, never mind. Two people got it. It's Phantom Lord. <laughs> oh, yeah, because he's doing the fucking contract for the ban shit. For the wrongful contract termination. If he were to win, that would be a really fucking. You're gonna be going to court. On with precedent behind me. Whew. Yeah. I wonder how much that's scaring Twitch, that aspect of it. Like, not just having to deal with it, pay him out, whatever, or reinstate him, but, like, what it will do to their handling of other people. Remember to hit that like and subscribe, and don't forget the notification bell so that my videos show up right in your feed. Money, money, money!